Hey, Fedheads. We're here at IPCPR 2018. I'm Trip from Cigar Federation here with Omar from Fratello. Omar, how's the show doing for you? Oh, my God. Dude, insane. Insane. Uh, first day, it's, uh, it was, it was you, know, you never really know what to expect on a first day of the show. Mm -hmm. Um, but what was interesting, I felt, was uh, the, the, the people just came out. People just wanted to come out and, uh, and visit the new booths, visit what was going on. Uh, second day was obviously very interesting because everything that happened, you know what I oh, mean? Yeah. Um, we got all a little bit over, a lot of humid, over-humidified cigars, <laughs> shall we say, because of the whole water thing. Um, but it ended up actually being a very, very good day uh, as it started transitioning later on in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. super excited, obviously, to be here featuring some new products, crushing it with the blends, uh, uh, featuring Navet. The Inverso, so it's, it's been my it's been amazing. Nice, and you mentioned Naveta Inverso. Yeah, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, uh, I I think the concept of the project is really interesting, yeah. and I want you to, to tell the viewers a little okay. bit about it. So very very interesting for so last year we launched Fratello Naveta. So Naveta stands for shuttle in Italian, right? So I used to work at NASA uh, in Washington D.C. and uh, this is a cigar that I did for men and women of the space shuttle program because. Obviously, I'm a geek yep. for these kinds of things. So, uh, but it was outstanding. And so, the blend is uh, featuring a uh, uh, Nicaraguan uh, single farm, single origin tobacco, um, and it is ridiculously good, right? So, it's a three-year-old aged ligero, uh, very, very full flavor uh, with an Habana Ecuador Oscuro. So, what I was trying to do with Inverse is like, how do I utilize some of these amazing tobaccos that I have, um, and sort of play with the blend a little bit. And so I started basically modifying the blend so much that I utilized the wrapper and I utilized a you know, similar component to it and put it as a seco in the binder. I used the binder and I put it part of the filler and I put the filler tobacco where we would get that filler tobacco from. I utilized a farm that was co-joining to the area and I put it in the wrapper. Easiest blend I have ever done in history, but guys, it is outstanding. So it was it was pretty cool and we had a got good chance to basically get the cigar on people's hands and um, the trade show has been amazing so far. Nice. As far as I know, the, the whole reversing the blend, I don't think that's been done before. Hey man, I I, I will tell you, I mean, I, I, when I was, we blended this cigar out of Hoya de Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. So I was telling Mario and Juan Ignacio, I said, guys, I'm thinking about doing this. It's like, okay, I mean, that's <laughs> interesting, you know what I mean? It's, uh, let's see what kind of uh, blend you get out. And it is incredible. It's incredible how one leaf of tobacco affects yeah. a blend in it by oh, itself. You take one leaf off and immediately you're talking about an entirely different cigar. Um, imagine utilizing the wrapper as part of the binder, the binder as part of the filler, you know, playing with that blend inside and then utilizing a similar tobacco from a single, from a uh, very uh, um, uh, nearby farm to where we're getting the filler to utilize it as part of the wrapper. I mean, it's, it was incredible. So the cigar is off the chain and we are crushing it with a blend. Looking forward to it. Yes. And then last question, what's the best place you've eaten in Vegas this week? So I will tell you, I, um, I haven't had amazing food yet in Vegas. And part of the reason, I'm staying at the Westgate. <laughs> so it's a little tough, okay? But um, I don't think so much about the food itself other than the company. We just hired a new director of operations for our company. Uh, my board of directors, Ricardo, Nilsa, which is in charge of the, basically everything we do here, and uh, Mariela, um, uh, make a, a very, a very uh, okay burger uh, actually <laughs> be a little bit better than what it is. So ends up working out pretty good. That's a good answer. Hey, man. It's what it is a right and a true answer, which is a great. All right, thanks for the time, brother. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, Cigar Federation, uh, for coming aboard. And uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan, and uh, hopefully, uh, I continue to see great things from you. Yeah. So.